Hi, it's Jesse with Plan with Jesse. And I'm finally going to do a video to show you what my personal size gold Safiano looks like all set up. Now, if you saw, if you saw the video that I made when I um, did the initial flip through, I said that this was going to be my holiday planner and I was still going to be using my A5 for my everyday planning. But since that, which was about three weeks ago, this has become my everyday planner. My A5 is on a shelf. I probably am going to end up selling the gold A5 because um, I am just not using it because this I'm finding is so much easier to just take with me every day, to sit on my desk at work, to, uh, as you'll see when I flip through it, I'm also using it as a wallet. So it is just way simpler and easier and fits me more than I had thought it would. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and flip through and show you how things are looking right now. Again, this is the Filofax Gold Safiano in personal size. Let me open it up. I did want to point out, if you can see that, from my nails, this is already kind of scratched right here from when I go like that when I snap it. I don't know if anyone else has that problem. It's kind of annoying, but it's okay. Oh, on the top, I have little charm it didn't it's the the clasp was too small to fit like on the ring so I just have it stuck on a paper clip right now so that's that open it up so I might want to show you my cards but there's three slots here where I keep my uh, driver's license and my two main credit cards this bucket in here I keep coupons um, this divider here, now oh, this is laminated. Um, so <laughs> we were out to lunch and my daughter was being impatient at the restaurant. So I gave her some stickers and a note page out of my Filofax and let her do the stickers on there. And I thought it looked really cute for Christmas. So I just laminated it and that's my dashboard. And these stickers are one of the Michael sets. I don't remember which one. I have a few of those, so I'm not sure which one. And then this little card is actually a greeting card that I got at Michael's in their dollar, two dollar section. I can't remember if it was a dollar for five. I can't remember, but I just cut it off and then punched it. And then I made my own dividers. And as I said, I originally had planned this to be a holiday planner, so I made them all Christmas themed. So the style I've been making that I've been liking, um, and this is how they are in my shop too, is that instead of just a traditional tab, I'm making circle tabs using a different kind of paper, like a coordinating paper. I think that looks cute. This is what I'm using for my day to day. Now I made these myself. Um, I got some heavyweight paper and I just wrote today in a line so then I can put the date up here. I did have the... Um, daily inserts that I bought for the A5 and I considered buying those for this but I really just I wasn't liking the hourly format that those were so this I actually like it just being blank let me show you like, what I do so like this day I just had a reminder to myself and then my grocery list this day I had everything I needed to do and then obviously I didn't finish it all so things got moved over there. Um, so that's my daily. So each day, like I said, I do. I don't really do too much decorating on these. Some I think I have a couple times. Let's see. These are all my <laughs> Black Friday purchases. See, I put some stickers here. Sticker there. But not too much yet. We'll see. And then on here I just have some more note pages. These are from So Much Crafting, these Get It Done ones. Um, I have part of the Christmas planner in here. Um, also from So Much Crafting, it's not filled out. And okay, this little card um, was the front of a notebook from the Dollar Tree. I don't know if you can tell. It's actually like a hologram. I can't tell, but it was cute. So I just took the cover off and put that. thought that was cute. So my next section, Santa here, is my week on a page. 
Now these are also so much crafting inserts. So it is the week on a page, Monday through Sunday with grid. So the opposite page is always this grid. This is what this week's page is looking like. Well, it looks cute. So wintry, not too Christmassy. So this is what, you know, my each week looks like. I'm finding the space to be fine. Um, uh, I want to, I think what I want to do is start using these, this to also journal, maybe do like a day, uh, like a sentence a day or two, a sentence or two a day about what we did that day. Um, so it won't, you know, so it'll also be sort of a journal. So this is my next divider. This is where I have my little tassel that I showed you before. And this is also part of the So Much Crafting holiday set. This is the countdown to Christmas. Right now we're at 24 days to go. And these again are stickers from Michaels. Um, so I have ordered the month on two pages from So Much Crafting. They have not come yet, but I have November and December because I bought the Thanksgiving kit and the Christmas kit. So I have these. So I have have it for right now and this week later this week I should be getting um, the 2016 which I purchased as part of the Black Friday sale so I will be all set this um, washi is scotch washi from Target I have this in my shop both full rolls and samples if you want some of that and this one I can't remember if this is I think this is Dollar Tree I also have this in my shop as samples. And this little guy is part of a sticker set from the Target Bullseyes Playground. I don't know if you you saw these stickers. They're really pretty. They're, as you can tell, they're glittery. They had them in red, gold, and black. The gold ones are really pretty, too. And this, this is from that same set. So that's my month on two pages. So essentially what I'm doing is basically what I did in the A5, which was... Long-term planning goes in the monthly view. Each week I plan um, my week, um, you know, appointments or whatever's going on. And then each day, it's mostly, the, t the today is mostly, um, the today is mostly to-dos, um, lists, that kind of thing. Um, every morning I get out the planner and get that set up. So I know what needs to be done that day. No pages in here to keep for things I need to jot down. And this is my next section. There's some more Christmas stuff. These are, I'm going to skip this. This is all the gift ideas for my family members. I like there to be some kind of surprise. This is my last divider. And by the way, I should say all these dividers um, are from a paper pack from Michael's. And I'm actually selling these dividers, too, in my shop. If you want Christmas dividers, I can do pocket, personal, or A5. Um, you'd want to get those orders in pretty soon if you want to get it in time for Christmas. Um, I have about a week or so turnaround for these guys. So, um, yeah, but check out my shop. Link below if you want to look at those. So my last section. Oh, okay, so these are kind of cool. This is also so much crafting. This here is the 2016 on two pages. And there's a 2016 on one page. And then this, which I thought was really cool, is a fold out look in all of 2016. So very long range planning. If I want to, my plan probably plan to do is mark off, you know, holidays I have off of work. I uh, have a dent long term June dentist appointment already made that's in there, you know, doctor's appointments, things like that. And I actually, along with that, also came the 2017 one, which I don't really have anything planned that far ahead of time. But yeah, so there's that. And then in the back here, I can't remember if I made a video showing how I made these. I basically found a clearance photo book at, um, I think either Joann's or Michael's, and I ripped it out and then punched the holes, and I'm just using it for credit cards, um, keeping these in the back. So I have my other not 
not as commonly used cards back here. I have the ones I use regularly in the front. So, you know, like my Costco, my Sam's Club, I think my library card's in here. I won't show you that, but. So, yeah, so that's working out pretty well. And I think that looks nice. I have the ruler that I came with. And then in the pocket back here, I'm keeping stickers. Because I am doing some decorating, um, like I said, some daily decorating. So I'm just keeping, these are the stickers I'm using for my Christmas countdown. I have some decorative hearts for carousel tickets for the mall. I have to keep those. You know, just a few other little, little bitty stickers in case I need them um, for some day-to-day -day planning. And then I don't have a notepad in here because it's getting full already. So instead of a notepad, I just have stamps back here, but um, postage stamps, I mean, so when I do my Christmas cards. Um, so I have enough note paper in here that I don't really need a notepad back there, and like I said, it's getting full already. Getting, you know, it's thick enough. Um, yeah, so that is it. That's what we're doing now. This is my personal Safiano from Five Effects in gold. Let me know if you have any questions about using the personal as opposed to an A5 or 5FX in general or whatever questions you might have. Um, and thank you so much for watching. Bye.